I'm joined by two men who have both emerged victorious in this particular fiction, Twickenham. Eddie, I'll start with you, 1984. <laughs> How much do you enjoy talking about that and what are your particular memories of it now? It was, it was a very memorable occasion, though. I don't, I don't think we were favourites. I, I know England was struggling, but we, we couldn't win at home and we went to Twicken, Twickenham with some trepidation, but we, we, we played very well. And um, yeah, Malcolm Dacey, who was not renowned as a, as a goal kick, as a drop goal specialist, Kick two, and we um, and I think that was probably the the difference between the teams. Brian, I make it. You've won at Twickenham three times against Wales, won a fair few times on the roads as well. Does it have the same significance for you, even though there's a large part of history where Wales well, just look, couldn't you, win there? You, you've got to remember, it, different eras have stronger teams. You know, uh, and Wales have been very strong. They were strong then. Scotland and France were much stronger. In, in my day, and Wales and Ireland weren't as good as they are now. So th th hence the reason we won uh, a vast amount more games, I think, than probably any other era, actually, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. against Wales. But it was always, I mean, even, it was, home games are much easier. It was still a, a big win if you won away from home, the old Rams Park. That was a significant moment. So, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a notable fixture, nonetheless. Fast forward a few years, there have been more recent victories, 2008, 12, the World Cup, so how do you look at tomorrow? Well, I mean, England have played 51 games at home in the Six Nations and they've only lost seven. That's how much a difference it makes being at home. And at the moment, Wales are trying to find themselves. England, I think, have just started to take a bit of form. So I think it's going to be difficult, bearing those two things in mind, to see anything other than England win. Do you go along with that? There aren't many calling a Wales win. Few injuries, a few losses in the Six Nations campaign. No, I think Wales are very close to being an excellent side. But it takes time and Twickenham is no place to go and start tinkering again. But we're on a path where we have to try new things. The trouble is that if England get you in a grip, whether you're the All Blacks or anybody, they will crush you.